What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here by the axolotl tank because we're going to be talking about some different ways and different methods to keep your axolotl tank cool and to keep the temperature down. It is the first day of summer guys and so I figured it'd be a great time to talk about this because especially during the warmer months it can be kind of difficult to make sure that the temperature in your axolotl tank stays consistent because they do need it a bit lower than room temperature. Most axolotls prefer it like in the low 60s and so I thought we'd talk about some different ways to keep Keep the axolotl tank cool but before we get started I figured because I still have to feed Mochi his earthworm for the day that we would go ahead and do that first and then we can talk a little bit about how to keep your axolotl tank cool all right let's go ahead and feed Mochi oh he missed oh there we go Of course he doesn't want to face us while he's eating because he has manners like that. All right, so now that you got to see Mochi eat, let's go ahead and talk about some different methods to cool your axolotl tank. Um, but first of all, I just wanted to touch a little bit about why it is so important. And so first of all, the reason the axolotls prefer cooler water is because that's just their natural habitat. They come from lakes in Mexico, where I believe they're actually now pretty much endangered and nearly extinct, I think. But they come from lakes in Mexico that are actually quite cool. And also, with warmer water, there is less oxygen in the water. And as creatures with gills that breathe oxygen from the water, having less oxygen can be a problem. It can stress them out. So you always want to try to keep your axolotl tank in the mid to low 60s. All right, so one of the first things you can do to keep your axolotl tank cool is just make sure that there's no direct sunlight hitting it. This can actually be something that a lot of people overlook. Maybe your axolotl tank is in a room where there's a window, and at a certain point during the day, the sun will shine through the window and hit the tank and this can raise the temperature very very quickly and you can see that he just actually went up to the um, surface of the water to gulp some air so make sure you avoid direct sunlight um, put some curtains or some blinds over the window to block it so that there is no light going into the tank the second thing you can do is avoid lighting that will produce a lot of heat in your axolotl tank so what I'm talking about is if you're gonna have overhead lighting on your tank use like LEDs because those produce very very little heat whereas if you use something like a fluorescent hood those light bulbs will put a lot of heat in the aquarium not to mention axolotls aren't a huge fan of bright lights anyways so either switch off the lights in your axolotl tank completely or use something that does not produce a lot of heat so with those two basic things out of the way now say you need a little bit of additional help to get your water temperature a bit lower so that your axolotl can be comfortable one of the easiest things to do is actually add an air stone and so you can see here I actually am using a sponge filter so that kind of doubles as having air coming into the tank but with an air stone the reason this works is because when the bubbles go into the tank and then they float to the surface they cause surface disturbance and evaporation and this evaporation will actually help cool the tank down so you could try adding an air stone or use a sponge filter one thing to keep in mind here though is that axolotls do not like a lot of water flow or a lot of water current so make sure that the air pump that you're using is not going to be too strong and what I mean by this is you don't want it causing too much of a current but Air stones are another great way to keep your axolotl tank cool. Another thing you can do is actually take the lid off of your tank or have no lid on your tank at all. And this is because when you have a lid on the tank, it doesn't allow for evaporation and it insulates the tank so that any heat that's in the tank will stay in the tank. So if you have a lid on your axolotl tank, maybe consider removing it. Although one thing to think about is that axolotls have been occasionally known to jump. And so maybe if you're gonna take the lid off of your tank, don't fill the water all the way up, but leave it just maybe like an inch, an inch and a half below so that the axolotl should not be able to jump out. Another thing you can try is actually adding a fan that will blow air onto the surface of the water. You can't see it right now, but you might be able to hear it. Um, but I have a fan that is actually put right above this tank and is blowing out to the surface of the water. This has been a very effective way for me to keep my tank cool. Um, there's many different ways you can add a fan to the tank. There's some like designated aquarium cooling fans that you can buy. Um, I just 
just use one from Walmart because I'm actually underneath a loft bed right now and so I actually attached the fan to the rungs below the bed and it's blowing beneath. You can just use desk fans. It doesn't need to be anything too big. You just want it to be able to blow on the water surface, evaporate some of that water, and dissipate the heat. Something you will have to keep in mind with these methods that cause cooling through evaporation is that you will have to be topping off water to replace the water that is being evaporated out of the tank. Um, so usually I will have to top off maybe a gallon or so every couple of days just to make sure that the water level doesn't go too low. But that's a very simple thing to do. You just have to make sure that you're staying consistent with that and not letting the water level get too low because water can evaporate pretty fast when you have an air stone in there and a fan blowing on it and no lid. So just something to keep in mind. Another method you can use for keeping the tank cool is using the frozen water bottle method. Um, I don't really recommend this for a long-term solution because it's not the most consistent way to keep the tank cool, but basically how this works is you'll just take a couple of water bottles, preferably the water bottles that are half the size of this, I believe they're like 4 ounce water bottles or maybe 8 ounce water bottles, but the ones that are a little bit smaller than this, and you will freeze them in your freezer and you'll have a couple of them on hand. And then what you'll do is you will take one of the water bottles, put it in the tank, and then once you notice that that water bottle is mostly melted, you will put that one back in the freezer and switch it out for a fresh one. But that way, the temperature of the tank can be lowered by the coolness coming out of these frozen water bottles. Now, the reason I say use these smaller ones is because if you put too big of a frozen water bottle in there, it could lower the temperature too much. So if you were to use this method, I would use smaller water bottles and exchange them at a more frequent rate so that the temperature can stay more consistent but not drop too low. And again, this isn't the most consistent way to cool your tank, um, but for just a hot summer's day or if it's just like the hottest week of the summer, then you can use this method if you need a little bit of extra help with keeping the temperature down. And finally, the last method you could use to keep your tank temperature down is by using an aquarium chiller. Now aquarium chillers are really great pieces of equipment, although they can be on the more expensive side, which is why I save them for last. So basically what a chiller is, is a little unit that'll sit outside of your aquarium and it'll have intake and outtake tubes that will take water into the chiller, cool it, and then put it back into the tank so that the water stays at a consistent low temperature that you would like it to be. Now these are very, very effective for keeping the tank cool and they're awesome for people who don't necessarily want to try with the hassle of a fan, but if you try the previously mentioned methods and those work for you, then there really is no need to go out and get a chiller, but if you are struggling with trying to keep your tank temperature down, then chiller is an option that you could look into. So that's what I have to say on how to keep your axolotl tank cool um, and keep the temperature down, some different ways you can do it. I hope this video helped you. If it did, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye-bye.